The founder of the East Kanji Humanitarian Organization, ECHO, was named as one of the recipients for a national award, the Medal of Service, on a list of awards announced during the 52nd Independence Anniversary celebrations. Narima Ali reports. Ms. Kewalpati Dairam, more popularly known as Auntie Brahash, is one of the many persons that will be receiving the Medal of Service from the government of Guyana as part of this year's 52nd Independence Anniversary. Auntie Brahash, who resides in Good Banana Land, is the founder of the East Kanji Humanitarian Organization, which was formerly known as the East Kanji Humanitarian Society. When asked what inspired her to form this group nine years ago, she said, I grew in a family that um, really my father is a, always teach us to do charitable work, always be nice to people, helpless people. Well, first of all, charity begins at home, right? I have a granddaughter, she's 17 years old and she's differently able. She's never walked or talked and so, so I take care of her. My family, uh, they help me a lot that they are in doing this kind of charitable work. Long before I established this organization, I was always trying to get a group of people in the community, the pharma committee. So I try very hard for that, but it happened that um, with Mr. Parmanan, who was the NDC chairman at that time, and I feel fit to work with him. I, I, I tell him that we can do so much work in the community, and I show him. First thing, we did the crematorium in Reliance. Okay, so what's your favorite part about going out and helping people in society? Well, it is nice to help people because it is one of our principles in our society as Arya Samaj. And the sixth principle say, to do good to the whole world is the main object of this Samaj, which I am in. So how do you feel about being one of the many persons that is being honored by the President and well, receiving the Medal of Service for all the community works that you have done? I feel good about it, to make my Samaj proud, to make my my group echo good and to know that we are doing something good and someone is looking at us and know that we are doing good in our community in our country and i must thank that person or persons that recommend me to have this kind of medal and i must thank the government too for giving me this kind of medal Apart from her involvement in ECHO, Ms. Diaram is also a part of the Burbis Arya Samaj. She enjoys singing and is a regular performer on the television program Vedo Kivani for the past 22 years. She took the opportunity to display her talent during this interview. And this other verse says, And the meaning for that verse is, teach us to live and die for the values of our country and to love our fellow citizens. Come into our meditation and make our eyes in your place of residence so that we can think and see in divinity. Bring your bright light into our dark hearts. Despite the many challenges faced over the past few years in ECHO, Auntie Brahash has always been able to deliver excellent services to society. Auntie Brahash has also received several other awards from stakeholders 
who commended her for all the works she carried out in community development. Well, from the beginning, some person, some people is calling me a role model. But what I'm encouraging, especially young children, to go to school and have a good education. Education is very important, which I know for the fact, because you don't know who you will be when you grow up. And it is important that you have a good ed education. This is my award for 2015, and this was given to me by Ansa McCall at the Trozal Sports Club. I also received this from Guy Wade as Outstanding Women in 2015. She finally took the opportunity to publicly thank all those persons who supported her over the past nine years. From beginning, that's what I, am, I was doing, and from the time I have this group, I want to thank all, the lead, all, the, all my members, them that helped me to make who I am today. I must thank my husband for supporting me as much. He, he helped me a lot in all way, in cooking, helping, doing all sorts of stuff. I must thank him. Also, I would like to thank DTV8 from the beginning of our program, that they always come. Whatever little news I take to them, they put it out so nicely. They, they come whenever I call them anywhere. They, they give me the news, put it over so nice that even now you go on to the YouTube and the Facebook and things, people see it all over the world, people recognize. That is how maybe I get this award. I want to thank DTV8 very much. I want to thank all those people when we're selling our tickets, when we go and ask them for donation and, and whatever the little they give to make this organization successful, I want to thank all of them too. No one is being left out. She will be receiving the Medal of Service from the Government of Guyana on October 6th later this year. Members of ECHO congratulated her on this achievement. I also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the leader and the founder of ECHO, Ms. Kewalpati, Mrs. Kewalpati Diaram, also known as Auntie Brahash, for being awarded a Medal of Service from the government of Guyana. She's always been generous and she's deserved this. And I'd also like to thank the government for recognizing her as being a humanitarian. My name is Parvati Matura, and I like to congratulate um, Kewal Pati Diaram for having Medal of Service. She's a hard-working person in the group, and she deserves it. Miss Barbara Pilgrim Roberts, former mayor of New Amsterdam, will also be receiving the Medal of Service award. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.